Ciao everyone, my name is Matteo Marciano and welcome to SSL 101. I designed this course for students enrolled in recording and production techniques, mixing and mastering techniques, and as well for every student that have the interest in understanding what goes underneath the layers of an SSL AWS 948. I decided to design this course in order for you to understand and maximize your creative experience on this beautiful piece of gear, the SSL AWS 948. Now, this board features 24 faders and 24 channel that are the exact replica of the SSL K series. Starting from the top to bottom, we have a series of meters. Right underneath, we're dealing with a mix bus two different numbers that will connect two channels of dynamics, SSL dynamics, a section dedicated to mic pre's and line trim pot, all the conventional 48 phantom power buttons, flip phase and flip signal, an SSL K style EQ, Q section, pan pot, trim, and from this point below, we're starting to dive in into the realm of digital. As a matter of fact, the SSL can be used as an analog board and as well as a DAW controller. We have the power to fully interchange these two relay by pressing this UE switch over here. And right now, I'm fully controlling automations inside Pro Tools. The SSL as well features a TFT screen, which you could use to store project to take snapshot of the entire board and as well to change different configurations. Through this computer, we have saved a couple of presets for students that have interest in recording or mixing. The master section over here features two discrete channels of dynamic, including expansion, gate, and compression, and the classic SSL quad bus G compressor. Everything could be selected by the main stereo buses output, which dictates what type of path your audio is going to be sent through. Now, in the section over here, you have the master control that are more DAW related specific. As a matter of fact, by flipping from analog to digital, we can right now control panning inside Pro Tools, channel level, sends, and as well, we have a variety of functions that affects the transport. Now, on this side over here, we have our main monitor control. With a dim function as well, and a cut, plus a selector of different types of speakers. Now, I have over here opened a mix that I was working on before, so I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of what you can do. So right now, I could actually act promptly on, let's say, on my lead vocals just by using an SSL style EQ. I could engage the EQ. Brighten up my vocals. Removing unwanted frequency. And with a matter of attach, we can actually preview the before and after. And it's that easy. Now, another thing we could do is actually access Pro Tools. Let's say we want to write a very fine automation. We can still use the exact same Pro Tools automations, uh, write, latch, uh, touch, latch, touch, trim, and off. But instead of using our mouse, we could actually use this part of the control surface or of our SSL board, which could be split into control surface mode. As a matter of fact, right now I'm flipping inside Pro Tools and on my LED screen over here, I have all the nomenclature of the tracks that I have in Pro Tools. So let's say right now I want to act promptly on my base over here. My base is here. Now I could scroll 
through all my channels in Banks of 24 or just channel by channel. Now let's say I want to write some automation. I'm going to put myself here in touch mode. And right now I'm going to write some random automations on my base. As you can see right now, my three faders over here start lighting up in red. So right now if I go ahead and press play on my transport, Right now, if I rewind and you look, take a look at the faders, the board has actually captured my movement and the faders inside Pro Tools and the faders on my board are moving. And it's that easy on this board. Now, the SSL generally is one of the most versatile board in the analog domain that ever existed. And the sound of that SSL has characterized possibly the 90% of records that we listen to every day. Now imagine right now blending the power of one of the most powerful analog board, such as the SSL, with the power of Pro Tools. And now you have both of these two worlds communicating one within another. It's just up to you to understand how to properly maximize the workflow on this board. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dissect section by section of the SSL in order for you to understand and have a good and solid grasp of what happened when the signal floats within this board. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.